Hey, it's Kaylin Leung. We're in my home studio in Brooklyn. This is where I explore space and movement with my trombone. The trombone is already a very directional and physical instrument. If we're moving around so much, why not capitalize on the moving and the space and the real estate that we can use, the increased bandwidth of our bodies and use that to inform our electronic music making. So it takes my sound, chops it up into a billion little pieces called grains, and it's plotted on this 3D virtual space. I'm recording my sound and throwing the grains out based on the different parameters of the sound. So if there's short clicky sounds, it could be here. If there's loud sounds, it could be up there. I play, chop it up into grains, send the sound out into space, and I can explore the sound by how I move. In terms of movement arts, I also want to explore the silences. Uh, so it's important to also play the silence or play the sound. Just like there's negative and positive space. My dream is to have all the amplification come from where the horn is i.e. the speaker or the speaker mute where there's a speaker built in. I want everything to be local and dependent on how I move in the space. Like a traditional plunger, except with motion sensing.
So all the stuff I'm presenting today are prototypes that I've been making with Travis West, who is a digital musical instrument designer in Montreal, Quebec. Ultimately, all of this will be incorporated into my practice. So in essence, the trombone is the tool I use to interface with the computer. And I want this to be a symbiosis relationship. I don't want the computer to be um, more in charge or the human to be more in charge. I really want it to be a feedback loop where I provide different parameters that are measured. Sound, movement, space. And the computer analyzes this and creates a world that I can play in. So this world becomes an environmental influence which causes me to make choices in terms of space, movement and sound going back to the computer and creating this loop of creative music making. And this is the very beginning of what I think will be a lifelong process of exploring space and movement and using those as part of my palette for sonic expression.